All right, hey you guys. I wanted to do a follow-up video comparing my Fisherman Loudbox Mini Charge to this Bose S1 Pro. When I originally did that, I deemed that I thought the tone match settings in the Bose S1 Pro for acoustic guitar were best. Um, that may still be true, uh, but I found that with the tone match setting off, I can EQ the Bose differently. And depending on the orientation, right now it's in this slanted vertical position. It does have a kickback. Um, you can also put it horizontally, and horizontally it also has a slant so that you can position it on the floor like a monitor sideways. Um, depending on how you have it positioned, that changes how it sounds. I believe there might be some internal digital signal processing that changes um, based on how it's positioned. But that said, I want to do a more fair comparison. This is a Martin Outlaw. It's a one of 100 limited edition, uh, beautiful Honduras ma mahogany um, Adirondack top dreadnought. So I'm going to do um, a comparison back and forth. I'm going to show you uh, the bows without the tone match setting on. I'll put the tone match setting on. There are two switch settings. One shows a guitar. The other shows a mic that's all the way up. The guitar is the middle and the bottom position is off. So I'll show you what that sounds like and we'll listen to the Fishman. Four gigs, I use the Bose the most. I like the versatility of all the positions. It's super lightweight and for vocals and for everything else, it sounds better to me overall. The Fishman sounds great to me for acoustic guitar. I love it for that. Um, both are extremely worthy. I'm not declaring one a winner or a loser. Um, you decide what you like and depending on what your needs are. Uh, but let me mount the mic or the uh, recorder. There we go. All right. I'm going to try and stay off to the side. Let me get the recorder so it's pretty much on axis with both speakers. And I'll play off to the side so that you're not getting direct bleed through feed from the guitar. The volume of the speakers and the, the amps is loud enough. That's the predominant sound in the room. All right, let me turn the light on. Good. There we go, a little more light. All right, so we're in the bows right now. The EQ settings are center detent, so they're 12 o'clock straight up, the volume is straight up, and this is with the tone match off. All right, so this is just the Bose no tone match. tone match switch setting I know by feel it's the very first click here is the tone match setting now I found that it's bright so listen to this listen how bright that got to me it's brittle but the Bose has EQ controls treble and bass so let me take the treble all the way down listen it's still bright As I'm single note running, I'm hearing more detail. It's still a little bright to me. Alright, so let's take the bass. That was at center. Let me take the bass up. I'm so close, I'm bordering on feeding back in the room. That's not fair. All right, so that's the tone match setting for guitar. Let me switch it all the way up. The third setting is for mic. It shows a picture of a mic. I think it says mic. Mic. 
richer in the low end. Treble's still kind of bright. the bows in that mic setting. I like it best there. Let me go into the Fishman now. This is the loud box. And I've got the loud box set the way that I've EQ'd it for what I think sounds best. to me. In contrast, it might sound a little bit muted or muffled, but it, it's really balanced. If you start on the Fishman, it sounds great. So now it's better. Alright, so the Fishman sounds great. Let me go back to the bows. And again, we're in the mic tone match mode. actually a little louder. Let me turn it down. Alright, so that's a good A-B of the Fishman versus the Bose. Again, in a position that I like. Let me show you if I flip this down. Here it is in the vertical slant back mode. Let's put it flat vertically. good like that. That's a pretty balanced sound. So now let me solo over a loop. I've actually um, created a loop on this guitar of that Ed Sheeran song. And I'll turn on a little delay. Here's what it sounds like with my diamond memory lane delay. Hear that delay? Just a little bit in the background. show you what that sounds like in the Fishman and then we'll do uh, soloing over the loop. capable of really good sound. Here is a little soloing over the loop 
and I'll try and keep the volumes matched as best I can. And again, I, I can't help any bleed through of the acoustic guitar, but the volume of the amplifiers, I believe, is sufficiently overcoming the acoustic volume. Here we go. Switch mode all the way up. Here's the Fishman. just going back and forth so many times and um, I hope this was useful uh, to me I mean the bow sounds great it sounds a bit more lean and distinct uh, it's musical it can be a bit louder um, it also has a stand mount you can pull mount the bows so again in terms of versatility for me, I would have to give the, the nod to the Bose S1 Pro. I think it's just absolutely a wonderful professional piece of gear that's really useful. I use it a lot as a monitor. Sometimes I use it off to the side with my L1 Pro 8 tower with the Bose tower so that I can use this either as a monitor or even to put some sound down low and send it in another direction, even though the tower disperses really widely. Um, the Fishman, for me, it is more um, focused in the sound field. It's a narrower dispersion, but super versatile, super musical. I love playing. I, I sit at this level, which is why I have these on a table here in my home music studio. 
So I hope this was useful. Um, let me know what you guys think. Are you liking the Fishman? Um, does it seem worthy next to the Bose? Does the Bose sound more versatile? Um, did you like the mic tone match setting in the Bose? I, I think it sounds good. Um, you can change the EQ the way that you like. So uh, do let me know. I welcome your thoughts. And again, this is a Martin Outlaw. Absolutely exquisite acoustic guitar. And bar none, I just have to, I always give props to LR Bags Anthem pickups. It is absolutely my favorite acoustic guitar pickup. I feel like it gives me an accurate, honest representation of the guitar louder. Um, works great for my gigs. I have it in four guitars. I've been gigging professionally with these pickups for a number of years. I just added it to this guitar. Um, and I, I think that really lets these amplifiers shine because it gives you a good representation of the guitar and then amplified. So what do you think? Put your comments down below. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I uh, really appreciate you guys. I hope you're doing well. Um, it's great to share what I can. Have a good day.